you were talking about CrossFit and training and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. you, you actually just, did you recently just get your L3? I got my L3 a couple of years ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, um, what, what was the reason why you got that instead of just sticking with like the L1 or L2? Um, I like the, um, two reasons really. Uh, one, I like the accountability for continuing education units. Um, it's just like something that I feel like I like to learn and I like to, um, you know, keep myself progressing. So oh, yeah. I would probably do that on my own anyway, but it kind of just gives me like fixed timelines and deadlines and that helps me, you know, make stuff happen. Yeah. Um, otherwise things just get, you know, like they tend like things get lost to the bottom of the list if you're not on top of it. So, true, true. um, so I just liked that level of accountability. And then also, um, I knew I wanted to apply for seminar staff at some point. So, oh, okay. um, yeah, that's, and you got to have your L3 to even think about it. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's where, that's where I am now. I'm in the um, internship program for seminar staff. Oh, very cool. That's cool. So, so what's the, uh, what's the internship like for trying to even get onto seminar staff? Um, it's basically like you attend level one seminars and, um, they kind of put you, they give you like progressively more responsibility and they throw you into like teaching some of the, um, the breakout sessions for the movements and, um, give you feedback and an assessment and then, you know, say, all right, we want you to come back for one more and you do it again and you get more feedback and then you kind of just progress through that process until they either feel like you're ready or feel like it's not a good fit. <laughs> yeah. 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 I hear you. So, so, um, what, what have you learned from being like kind of an intern from the seminar staff that actually helps you do your coaching job too, as well? Um, seminar staff is a really it's for me, it's a really different environment than coaching in one of my classes. Mm -hmm. Um, like the structure is very different. You're looking to, you know, you're in like very, like that circle format. Um, and you're expected to meet very specific timelines, um, for how long it takes you to progress through each movement. Um, I think that for, so for me, that's been the most challenging part is, you know, like not the actual coaching and correcting and, um, it, but, it, but just like meeting those timelines and following that specific format, mm -hmm. um, has just, it just takes like practice, making sure that you know what the flow is and the rhythm and how long everything's going to take. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, uh, but I think the, the coolest thing has just been being around so many coaches that are like several levels up from me. Like these are the most experienced coaches in the world and they just naturally uh, explain things in so few words, but it's so simple and elegant and they, it just like flows out of them. Yeah. Um, that like the caliber of coaching is really cool just to surround myself with. Um, and just try to absorb as many things as I can. To be honest, it's been kind of a fire hose that I'm, I've only <laughs> like done. I've done two seminars now. So I'm, um, but like the first one, I was like, it was just like fire hose of information. Um, mm -hmm. And I was just like struggling to take it all in. The second one, I think I took, I was able to take more in and be more present and um, not so nervous. <laughs> But. Yeah, I, I was just gonna say, like that first, that first, that first um, session must have been like super nerve wracking. You're like, like I, I don't, I, I'm good not eating because like I can't, I'm not hungry. You know, I was like, you know, just watching everything, and I'm like, okay, like what's going on? And yeah, you know, am I doing things right or whatnot? Yeah, no, I was, I it, it caught me off guard how nervous I was because I didn't, I don't think I really expected to be. I'm like, okay, I have like you know, I have a lot of experience coaching. I'm really confident in my coaching ability. Um, and then I got there and I had this adrenaline rush. Like I just stepped onto a stadium floor and I was just like, Oh, whoa. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So that, that caught me off guard and it definitely, I was like, okay, I gotta <laughs> 
figure out how to manage this now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, I mean, it also, I think it, it, um, you know, the nerves were higher because I was coaching with, um, coaches that, uh, I mean, I, I, I knew them, they're friends of mine. Um, I, my first two, um, staff members that I was with were Wes Pyatt and Pat Barber. And, um, like they're friends of mine, but they, I also like have a very high level of respect for them as coaches. Like I know who they are and I know the caliber of their coaching. And then to be like assessed by someone who, um, you know, uh, is at that level, but is also your friend. There's almost more pressure because they're your friend. Like yep. yeah. <laughs> it was almost easier to do it with someone that I didn't know. <laughs> Yeah, because then they're like you. They like they say something bad or like the way they critique you. Like say, hey, you know, you did a great job, but you may want to consider doing this way. And if like some random person said it to you, you're like, oh, okay. But if it's like Wes or like the, 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 you know anybody else that you know, you're like, oh, damn it. I know yeah. it's like I let them down or something, which is totally exactly. not the case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, and, and I have a feeling like if. If you're an intern at, this is just my opinion. Um, if you're an intern for the seminar staff, they want you to succeed. It's not like they're yeah. trying to make you fail. So it's just like, you know, obviously you need to take that critique, you know, the faint of heart, but like, just say like, okay, th this is the way I need to do it better. And so, and just do it that way. Yeah, no, I, I have loved that part of it. It's both a very supportive, um, mm -hmm environment they do want you to succeed they um you know i th like that in that very first assessment i think really all they're looking for is like are you the right person you know are you the right type of person for the job they're not really like you can teach skills and abilities and things like that but we really can't teach you know like you know personality and how much you care and you know the way that you invest yourself and connect with people and things like that um, yeah. so they're just really looking or like are you the right person for the job and beyond that like they want you to succeed and they're like these are people who have dedicated their lives to developing new crossfit coaches like they're they're just as invested in to develop someone who's going to coach those coaches um, mm -hmm. like that's just like what they're passionate about so um yeah, super, super supportive environment, um, which, you know, like, on, on, and then on the other side of that, like, it's a very rigorous um, coaching environment, like, they're going to give you feedback, they're going to give you, you know, a lot of feedback. And even, like, um, you know, even the most experienced seminar staff, like, they were giving each other feedback at the end of the seminar, like, 10, 15 years into being on seminar staff, you're still getting feedback after every single seminar. You yeah. know, it's like yeah. a process that never ends. Um, and so I think that if you're like, I'm someone who really likes that. I love getting feedback. I love, you know, um, I almost like when you're the most experienced coach in the room and you're not getting feedback anymore, it's really easy to get stagnant and I get bored. Uh, so, <laughs> um, so like, I love that part about it, but definitely like if you're not the right fit for seminar staff and you don't deal with that well, and that's not something you enjoy, then that's going to be a hard time because you're going to get tough. a lot of it. Yeah. 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 <laughs>